Hi guys, welcome everyone to Daily Tips with Monica. Um, I do appreciate you guys for coming. Make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Make sure if you want to share me out, share me out. You can share me out to all different platforms. What we're going to talk about today, guys, is we're going to talk about ways to stop being pest pessimistic and what that means is basically you're not optimistic you're pessimistic it means you think negative so you one of those people that think of the glass half empty instead of half full um but it is never too late to change your thoughts um because your thoughts shape your reality but how but you wondering how can you stop being pessimistic and how to be more of a glass half full kind of person if you want positive reality then your thoughts need to reflect the same not everyone is a pessimistic a pessimist sometimes we just have bad days um, here are a few signs, guys, to let you know if you're being pessimistic or not. You always think, what if it doesn't work? Other than, what if it does? You don't get shot when things go wrong. You give up easily. you always expecting bad news. Um, sometimes you may be selfish. And you find it hard to forgive people. Um, you engage in negative talk negative self-talk sorry if all or some of these signs resonate strongly with you then it may be that you are a pessimist don't worry you still change can change this so here are some tips that can help you not be a pessimist so guys i'm gonna be honest with you guys um I have some of these thoughts here that about being a pessimist. I am guilty of it. Um, I'm always thinking negative. I'm always in my head. I'm always, I'm always expecting bad news. I'm, I'm always, I'm easy to give up on things. I'm easy to say forget it because it's not going the way I, I feel like it should go. Or is something bad, something happens, and I feel automatically that, you know, it's not going to work out, so I may as well just give up on it, you know. So, we, if you're like me, you're going to have to do better and work at not being a pessimist. So, the first thing you need to do is replace every negative thought with a positive one. The next time you catch yourself, guys, thinking negative or even thinking some mind-boggling thoughts, stop that and replace that with some positive thoughts. It can be anything that you can think of. Think of anything that makes you happy and adds value to your life. This is very essential because we have the power, guys, to rewire our brains even if many of us if many of us don't even realize it when you re constantly constantly replace pessimism with optimism you will rewire your brain to think more positively and the result of all that of thinking positive positive will be second nature to you so replace every negative thought with a positive one so the next time guys you think that you want you know something happens and you're going to automatically think negative the best thing to do is just think of things that make you happy think of the things think of things in a positive manner say maybe that you know somebody don't show up and then you'd be like you know what maybe they were busy maybe something happened um and, and things like that so you don't automatically go into a negative space so you don't automatically go into a negative space 
So guys, always think positive and look at the good in every situation. I know that it's hard. It's easier said than done, especially when things are not working out. But sometimes things happen for the greater good. You just don't don't see it yet. But things sometimes things happen or things are not allowed to happen because it's something else that is better that is going to happen in the future. Um, the second thing is make a gratitude list. When you focus on the things that you have rather than the things you lack, you create abundance in your life. Sometimes we take those little things in life for granted, and this is where pessimism comes from. We don't appreciate everything enough. And this creates a negative attitude. Being optimistic is all about changing the lens through which you view the world. Focus on what you may what you have by making a gratitude list or think of the things you're grateful for. Every day think of five things you are thankful for. This will help you to keep your mind positive and you focusing on what you do have and it'll help you stop being a pessimist. So be grateful for the small things in life that you have. If you're able to walk, if you're able to talk, if you have lights, water, food, those small things. Be grateful for those small things. And then if you always being grateful for those small things, you don't have to worry about being negative and feeling like nothing's good is happening for you because guess what? You're focusing on the good things and not of the things of the bad. So be grateful. Be grateful for all small things. If it's no more than, like I told y'all yes, uh, yesterday, if you can't be grateful for anything else, be grateful that you're still here. Um, the third thing is stop seeing setbacks as failures. I'm guilty of that. I feel like a setback means it ain't working out and it's over. That's way I, that's the way I feel about it. And I feel like, you know what, this is never going to happen. And I, I just failed at this. And, um, and I just, I just, be wanting to give up on it, but you can't give up on things that you want to do. So don't always feel as a failure. A setback is a failure. Um, like, you know, we amplify our setbacks in life by thinking that they are the end of the world. Everyone has faced some kind of obstacle. They are part of the package deal that we call life. However, it is important, guys, to keep your perception clear. See your setbacks for what they are. Life is a learning process, and they are there to help you grow as an individual. Learn from them and do better next time. When you feel like giving up altogether, think about how you can learn from it, what is the bright side of it, and how can you do things differently to get the outcome you need. So stop stop looking at your setbacks as failures. It may be a way of you uh, teaching you a lesson to uh, help you grow into the individual that you will be in the future. And sometimes you just need to look at the positive, the bright side of it, the positive side of it, and say, you know what, hey, it wasn't as bad as I thought. On the bright side, I haven't lost anything. Or just always try to look at the positive side of it. And then you can learn how to approach things differently from when, um, learn how to approach things differently when you do have a setback so you don't feel as though, you know, those setbacks is a way of you being not able to be successful. Your setback does not mean that you're not going to be successful. You just had a setback. But that doesn't mean you give up. That means you continue to try. 
continue to try, continue to move forward. The fourth thing is, guys, um, speak to yourself the way you should would speak to your loved ones. We can all, we can always we can be our worst enemies, and we can hinder our own progress. Don't ever speak about yourself negative. Provide yourself the same compassion you give to someone else because you are worthy of it too. And you know, the crazy part about it is I'm sitting here thinking, I need to tell myself that. I need to tell myself, you know, what I'm telling you guys that, you know, you're worthy of happiness. Don't feel like you're not good enough. Don't feel like, you know, um, you're not able to achieve the things that you want to achieve. I need to give my, I need to tell myself that. Like I tell you guys, I'm not perfect. I struggle with things and I struggle with being happy. I, I struggle with trust. I, I struggle with seeing stuff on the bright side. I always, when things don't work out the way I feel like it should, then I go to a negative space. And then me, myself, I start to self-sabotage and I try to, I basically give up on it. And I'd be like, you know what? Since it ain't working out, it's never going to work out. So, hey, I'm just going to give up on it. But I'm I'm trying my best not to be in a negative space. I need to, When I get to that negative space, I know now, and I'm we're still working on it, to just focus on doing, instead of focusing on that negative that I have in my mind, focus on something positive that I am doing. So give yourself that same kind of encouragement and same kind of compassion that you give to other people. And, the, and a great way of speaking to yourself positively is to give yourself positive affirmations each day. Find some things that resonate with you and keep them around your home as a reminder. This way you'll be able to easily feel more positive. So speak to yourself the way you would speak to your loved ones. If you are encouraging someone or you telling them that, you know, you are worthy of happiness, you are worthy of all those good things that are here in this world, tell yourself that. Tell yourself that. I know, like, me, myself, I know that it's hard. I know it's hard because me, I, I like I said, when I get, I sometimes when I get in that negative space in my mind, I just automatically go to, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it. I felt it in my spirit that this wasn't going to happen. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. But we have to get out of that. We have to speak life into ourselves. And I'm not talking to you guys. I'm speaking to myself. The fifth thing is, guys, um, don't label yourself as a pessimist. If you want to be, if you want to stop being a pessim, pes, being pessimistic, then don't label yourself as one. Don't ever put yourself in a box. When we put labels on ourselves, we are putting limitations on ourselves. Then that label defines us and we do everything according to that definition. If you label yourself a pessimist, then you will keep thinking and doing the things in a way a pessimist would. Remove this label from yourself and look beyond it. You are just as human as anybody else. And everybody have good days and everyone has bad days. What you make of those days is completely up to you. Because you have the power, even if you have forgotten that you had it. Get rid of the label and stop putting yourself in a box. You could be anything you want to be, even an optimist. So... Don't put labels on yourself. Don't even label yourself as a pessimist. Label, don't put a definition 
on yourself. You can be anything you want to be. You can be whatever you want to be. You are in the driver's seat of your life. So you don't have to put a label on yourself. And you don't have to be in a box feeling like, you know, I'm just stuck in this one position. You can come out that box and be more. It's all up to you. And then the last thing is, guys, have people around you that provide you with positive energy. Energy. Likes attracts likes. If you think of yourself as a pessimist and you have people around you that are pessimists, then y'all all think alike. And then it is time for you to get rid of them. It may be hard, but it's something you may need to do. If you want to move forward in your life, then you need to get rid of people and habits that don't serve you. If the people around you add negativity to your life, then find new people that are more positive. The company you keep influences you. And when you surround yourself with positive people and optimistic people, then you will start thinking that way. Let go of all the negative energy that doesn't serve you any purpose and see how beautiful your life is. So have people around you that gives out positive energy. They don't always be about negative and drama and keeping up crap. Have those people around you that influences you to do the right things, influence, encouraging you, uplifting you. And then those are the people that you will want in your life. Not those people that actually don't add any kind of value. They just in your life. That means that you may need to remove those kind of people. So guys, So what we talked about today is stop being pessimistic. And the first tip, I'm going to recap, guys. So excuse all the noise. Um, the first tip I had was replace every negative thought with a positive one. So every time that you think negative, then try to replace that with a positive statement or a positive or something positive to rewire your brain to think positive looking on the brighter side of things um the second thing is make a gratitude list be grateful be grateful focus on the things that you are grateful for you know it could just be small things but if you focus in on those things you are grateful for you don't have to worry about those things that are coming up and, and <clears throat> they are coming up and, and making you feel negative, you know? So don't think, so always, always guys, always, always think positive. Um, I'm sorry guys, just a lot of moment, I don't know. What happened to my... Um, so, always, always think positive and be grateful. I'm sorry, I just went blank. Um, the third thing is, don't stop seeing setbacks as failures. Don't always think a setback is a failure. Sometimes setbacks are things that can help happen, that can teach you something, or God getting you ready for something else, because something else is about to come up. And that's why you had this setback. Because if you didn't have this setback, this probably wouldn't have happened. And it may have been something positive that may happen for you. But see, sometimes we be wanting this, but God got something better on down the road. The fourth thing is, 
Um, is I'm sorry, speak to yourself the way you would speak to your loved ones. So this means those affirmations that we give to other people need to be the same affirmations that we should give to ourselves in this real. Know that you you should tell yourself, I am worthy of whatever that is that's good is happening in your life know that you are worthy of it and you need to tell yourself that and i need to be you know and i'm gonna be honest like i basically am telling myself this now as i speak like because i struggle with this i struggle with i struggle like i said i have trust issues with people i have negative thoughts come up when things don't work out the way that i felt like you know it should but you shouldn't auto automatically go through to i shouldn't automatically go to a negative space you should always seek the positive side of something so that's why every day we should give ourselves positive affirmation we should love ourselves so much to know that you know what no matter what comes along i am going to push through and be done so the fifth thing is don't label yourself as a pessimist a pessimist don't put labels on yourself do not put a label on yourself don't ever put yourself in a box don't put yourself in a box and you, when you put labels on yourself, you define yourself because it defines you. And you have to look beyond that. And you have to know that no, no matter what, you know, I'm, I have ups and downs, but I'm still human. And ain't nobody perfect. So, ain't no, and so I don't have to put a label on myself. I'm just as human as anyone else. And the last thing is, guys, have people around you that provide you with positive energy. So if you have people in your life that are um, giving you positive energy, uh, wanting you to do good, um, uh, wanting, uh, telling you, you know what, you know, you know, you, you are, you are a good person. They just say so much nice that if nice things they come to you and they say nice things to you and they always positive they don't have a negative attitude towards you or towards situations those are the kind of people you want in your life not those people that are negative always got something negative to say i always got something against you know that you need to be around people with positive energy so that you so it can be brought back to the universe. So that means reflect back on you. So because if you're around it, it can be it can it can influence you to be just as positive as that person. So guys, those are the daily tips I do have, guys. I do appreciate you guys for uh coming in and showing me support. I appreciate it. I definitely appreciate it. Um, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as well, guys, as most of you guys notice, I am, I am monetized and I thank God for it. And I just want to tell you guys, I, I, you know, I will do the thank yous on my monetization part. Um, I will have a part one and a part two because I want to do part two with my children, and that's going to be Sunday. Um, I don't know the time yet, but we will be having a monetization mukbang with my kids, and the part one will be just Saturday night at around seven thirty or eight o'clock Central Standard Time. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it out tomorrow. So, 
thank you guys so much for coming as well guys make sure you guys are connecting to my featured channel for the month that is baking with charlene make sure you guys are connected to baking with charlene y'all let's try to get charlene to 1k let's get charlene to 1k make sure you guys are supporting charlene um and as well guys shout out to the tbt squad that is the mccray kings in blogs and fiction so um thank you guys for being patient with me and going through the process with me and as well guys i want you guys to as well i want you guys to i'm reading a new book this month it's called sweet gum and i will be doing a book review on this on the end of this month so make sure you guys uh purchase sweet gum it will be in the description box below so and as well guys make sure you are connected to my mom bj's good news so guys that's all i do have guys thank you for watching um as i always state don't let anything or anyone steal your joy if they didn't give it to you they can't take it away so y'all have a happy tuesday i'll see y'all on wednesday